Good morning, party people. Welcome back to my channel. Are you guys, do you guys want to have the first sip of coffee feeling together? Should we? Here we go. Already? Cheers. Let's take it in, guys. Let's do it. Need to get ready because I'm taking Malcolm to get groomed in a little bit. I think Malcolm and I are going to roll out because I schedule him for an early appointment because Malcolm takes a while with the type of fur he has and Missy got groomed yesterday and we took her at like 2.30 and she was home by like 3.30 because she doesn't need like a full cut, you know, like she just needs a bath and like all the nails and the teeth and all that stuff so she doesn't take long at all and she doesn't like the dryer so i don't even dry her so she's like she's she's quick fast and in a hurry you know malcolm he takes he takes some time he's a little he's a little dapper dude you know what i mean okay this is the outfit i decided on it's literally biker shorts and the t-shirt because it's like in the 60s today even though it is still supposed to be winter in the car made it it's like a gross rainy day it's actually not that muggy but it's fine kidding i totally forgot my purse so now i'm going back inside i know my car is beeping at me ah! i'm just trying to take malcolm to the get it grooved i always feel so bad dropping malcolm off because he like doesn't want to go if i'm not going with him so i have to like walk kind of with him for him to even go with the groomer and then it's like Mom! And then I feel like I've betrayed him. Anyways, we're gonna get some gas because your girl's on E. Okay, gas has been acquired, but I'm going to pick up Garrett because I was a horrible, mean wife and I didn't even ask him if he, if he wanted to go to McKay's with me. I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to drop Malcolm off and I just took my books with me. And I'm like getting gas. I'm like, you know what? Garrett Lofts also loves McKay's, so maybe I should check with him and see if he wants to come with me. Sure enough, he did. So we're gonna go pick him up. Also, I hate how gross today is, but my hair is living for the moisture. Spend so much time in there. Malcolm is done and ready for us to come get it. The boy. I know. Let's go rescue the boy. Rescue the boy. All right. I'll give you guys a book haul when we get home. Boy guard. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You home? Hey, come on. Let's go. Look at my clean buddy, Malky. Hey, look how cute you are. Hi, Oni. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey boy, boy. You want it? Uh, you want it? You want the toy, buddy? <laughs> oh, you take the toy. It is time for an afternoon pick me up, as always. This is a new one. I've been loving the Celsius Essentials. Um, the orange and the cherry limeade are my favorites. The dragonberry I tried was really good. There's another one I haven't tried. There's like a blue raspberry one. And then there's a different one. I think it's like fruit punchy. But this is mango tango. 
which I've also never tried. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it because I'm, I don't, I feel like I like mango. I don't know. I picked it up because we like to try all the flavors of Celsius no matter what, so. Celsius pop. Ooh. Let's cheers it. Not bad. Definitely not my favorite Celsius I've had. Would I go out of my way to get this? No. If somebody was like, this is the Celsius I have, and I was like having like a caffeine headache, would I drink it with no complaints? Absolutely. One thing about my puppy children is if I sit on the floor, they're going to join me, right? Yeah. All right, who's ready for a McKay's haul? Malcolm and Missy are, so I'm hoping that you are too. Going in no particular order, just how they hand them to me inside my bag. We have Shipped. This is a book that's been on my want to read list for a while. And I saw it there, it was $10. It is cheaper on Amazon, but only by one cent. And that is something I do check when I'm in the store. It's, you know, to me in the moment, I'm like, if it is less than or near the price, and plus I'm like trading it in, so it feels free. You know what I mean? Like it feels free. This one is a super random one that I know is popular for a while and probably overrated if I'm gonna be honest. But I am curious about it, and it was only 75 cents for hardback. This is The Nest. It's about a dysfunctional family, and everyone's got one of those. <laughs> so I'm interested to see how The Nest is. I feel like I know I've seen this on social media in years past. I haven't seen anything about it in a long time, so if you've read it, let me know. And the next book we got is... Things We Never Get Over by Lucy Score. This is a book that I have seen so many people talk about. She's a thick book, okay? Like this, this is a thick book, okay? And so I'm a little bit intimidated by that. However, people rave about Lucy Score. And so I am excited to read this to see what I think about it. I only got one of the books. I think there was like two or three from the series on the shelf but since I've never read any of her books before and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like jive with this author, I decided to just grab one and see where I land. And if I want to read other books by her, I can always, you know, get them in the future or whatever. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was written by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I loved that book. That writing style was so awesome. And if I remember correctly, I saw Someone say that they really liked Malibu Rising. It was an underrated book. And so I snagged it at my case today. I'm excited to read this book. Her Taylor Jenkins read and the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo blew me away. So I'm excited to read this and see what I think about it. This book I actually had suggested to me by one of my managers actually she and i both really share a love of reading and she's always reading in the break room and i have some, suggested some books to her and she suggested some books to me and this is one that she has suggested to me leaving time this book um my manager told me she absolutely fell in love with um it has elephants in it which i love elephants which i mean like what okay but i'm excited to read it i have a vague idea of what it's about speaking of super cheap i also at McKay's, there's like a bargain book section, which is where I found the nest. I always check that area at, at like at random times. It's There's no organization to it, so it does get a little overwhelming. But like I just kind of browse and see if there's anything I recognize or anything that sounds interesting. So I found this book called The Wife Between Us for one doll hair. So I grabbed it. It seems like a thriller book. 
especially for one dollar like you really can't go wrong with a one dollar find say hi to garrett in the background hi garrett <laughs> Um, another book that I found that was super cheap, it was only $3, is Crying in H Mart. This is a book that has been on my list of books to read for a while now. And so since it was only $3, I was like, oh, that's a great find. And I'm excited to read it. This is a memoir that I've been interested in for quite a while. All right. And the last book I picked up today that was super random, but when I saw the title like on the shelf... I grabbed it like there's no way that that's what I think it is. So the book is called Goodbye Earl. And if you know me at all, you know how much I love the chicks. It's nostalgic. It's like my childhood is my jam. Like I know every word to every song. Like the way people love Taylor Swift is how I feel about the chicks. Okay. And it's real. My love for them is real. And I was like, there's literally no way that there's a book based on the song. And sure enough, it is literally based or inspired by Goodbye Earl by the Chicks. I laughed so hard. I was like, I have to get this today. There's no way I can leave this here. I looked on Amazon and it was way more expensive on Amazon. So she came home with me. I'm excited to read this book. I think this will probably, I don't know. Is this going to be my next read? I don't know. But that's my haul from McKay's today. It was quite a lot. Okay, party people. It's many hours later and I'm gonna make myself a poppy. I'm like, I don't know, Garrett, yeah. should I do cherry limeade or one of the ones I know that I like? One of the ones you know you like. Okay, okay. Here's one of the ones I know I like. It is the Doc Pop. Okay, I think I'm going to end today's vlog here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Had a little cozy Becky day before I go back to work tomorrow. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.